Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in battle rap. Born Legacy 11. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's happening probably right now as we speak. You know what I'm saying? It's a fire car. You know what I'm saying? Salute the URL and everybody over there. Smack Beasley, Chico P. That put this car together. Born Legacy 11 is a fire car. But this is my predictions. This is my predictions. Hood Legend TV. This is my channel, my predictions, my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So don't take this shit, you know what I'm saying, the wrong way. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to start the card off with the prediction of Av versus Fonz. This is a battle that supposedly been went down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Av and Fonz are supposed to been went down on another card, but actually Av couldn't make it for other certain uh, situations that happened. So this battle actually didn't go down at the time it was supposed to go down, but now it's rescheduled at Born Legacy 11. Fonz has been on a, a hiatus, you know what I'm saying? He was on 15 Minutes of Fame talking about his brother had passed and shit like that right there, and he had to go away for a minute to kind of, you know what I'm saying, get his thoughts and, and his mind together, you know what I'm saying? That's why niggas ain't seen him in a minute, and this is the first time that niggas is going to be seeing Fonz since the URL uh, Ultimate Madness 1 tournament, tournament championship that he won, the 25K, 17 at the taxes, you know what I'm saying, whatever he said, you know what I'm saying? But this is the first time niggas is seeing him, and I feel like he... Took a too long of a hiatus. Why you had that momentum, Fonz? You supposed to keep going with that momentum. Now niggas got to get back used to how you punch and how you rap and shit like that. The little aggression that you did have with Ace I mean and shit like that right there. Niggas got to get back into that. You know what I'm saying? You got to get, you know what I'm saying, the niggas' attention back. Because you had it in the first tournament. Now a whole other tournament done went by. Two, three events done went by. And niggas ain't seen you not on one card, bro. And that... That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, you know what I'm saying? I was looking to, like, to see you on the card. But niggas ain't see you on the card. Ab. We all know Ab had COVID. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't actually perform at any event. He was sick. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know if he was going to make it. His, his, his lungs had collapsed. This is one of the top punches in the game. And Father's actually the nigga that's trying to come up and take that motherfucking title from Ab. I don't think he could do it. But it's just like Ab had he'd been going through the motions and going through a lot of shit. That's why we haven't seen Av in nine months. You know what I'm saying? For sometimes for a nigga like Av with his stature, kind of like right there touching the top tier status, but still right there at the mid tier level. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like good for him to take a, like a nine month hiatus. So when he comes back, that he actually can like kill shit. Because sometimes niggas take niggas for granted, bro. You be in niggas' faces, and they be like, "Yo, man, I see this nigga every other week. I just seen this nigga at the Waffle House. I, I go, I go to Walmart. And I see this nigga. So you're you're not." You know what I'm saying? Like, important to niggas because they see you every fucking way you go. But if you take a year hiatus, a nine-month hiatus, and you just chilling, and you ain't in the in the public eye, and then all of a sudden you pop out, it's like niggas is seeing a new nigga because you, you done kind of reinvented yourself. Like, and that's crazy because Av has kind of did that shit. He's in this situation. And, like, I feel like Av, you got you got something to prove too, bro. You got to go in there. You got to punch Fonz light, lights out. You cannot hold nothing back when you're Back, like doing this battle, bro. You, you you better come in there with personals, performing, like all that shit. The top puncher. Show this nigga you're the top puncher. You feel me? But if I had to choose, I got Av two one edge in this battle. Fonz is gonna come out there with some fire shit. He done been through crazy stuff, so I'm pretty sure he got fire material ready for Av. You know what I'm saying? But I got Av two one on the edge. Next up, we got Swave Sever, the OG versus Swamp. Swamp Town, you know what I'm saying? The Carolinas. He's from South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the North Carolinas. You know what I'm saying? But he's part of that Carolina regime. You know what I'm saying? Because the Carolina Panthers, that that slogan is two states, one team. You know what I'm saying? So they repping the Carolinas with the with the Panthers and, and you know what I'm saying? Swamp kind of doing the same shit, him and T Top. So I get it when niggas say the Carolinas. You know what I'm saying? Two states, one team. You feel me? But Swave Seven. Your last battle, I believe, was versus uh Big Hand. Big hands, you know what I'm saying? That's from Philly, the power circle. That was not a good battle, bro. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Sway, that was not a good showing for you, bro. You you went out there, and it's like the third round. You was playing with this nigga. You wasn't taking it serious, Uh, you know what I'm saying, to a certain point. Like, you just wasn't. The balls in the first was crazy. The second was, uh, but the third was just like, yo, bro. I'm like, yo, what is Sway doing, man? Sway is playing. This is a throwaway battle. You know what I'm saying? I guess because he kind of slipped up in the third. He kind of made you, like, not take it serious. But you have to take this nigga Swamp serious. You have to, bro. You have to because if you don't, you're going to lose. 
Because this nigga just he coming he co he's coming off of a loss to Casey J. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is like, yo, Swamp, you lost. Oh, he oh, he's walking around with his bravado. Nigga, I'm undefeated. Oh, you are real. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm the T.I. motherfucker. You are real. Nigga, I'm undefeated. You heard me? Ain't nobody fucking with me. Bring on T-Top and Tay Rock. Bring them niggas on. <laughs> so that's all you heard from this nigga Swamp. You know what I'm saying? But after that loss from KCJ, you didn't hear from this nigga. You like, yo, where is Swamp Town? Then all this other shit start happening with... The, the, the certified shooter shit and all that shit. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have that outlet to, you know what I mean? To kind of like stay relevant in the brand of battle rap a little bit. So he just backed off and just kind of chilled for a little bit. But Sway Seven, yeah, you don't take this young man serious, you're going to lose. You know what I'm saying? You're going to lose. But I got Sway Seven edging this battle, bro. 2 1. I feel like Sway Seven will come in there with some 1970 karate kid. Chuck Norris type shit, and this nigga go go in there, and he go motherfucking just, you know what I'm saying, win the battle just off that alone, you know what I'm saying, off OG status, you know what I'm saying, Sway Seller can do that shit, but I got Sway edging this battle 2-1, next up, we got Ryder versus JC, JC is dangerous in that motherfucking small room, let's not get that motherfucking shit confused, this nigga is arguably the king of the small rooms. Put JC in a small room, and he's going to walk out. He's not going to walk out with a loss. He's just going to walk out. The other nigga may walk out too, but he's going to walk out. But it's not going to be a clear loss. Maybe versus Loso. But other than that, I ain't seen that shit. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to get to that. You know what I'm saying? But JC versus Ryder is going to be a crazy battle. Like I said last time, Ryder, you kind of reinvented yourself with the silk. You know what I'm saying? Silk the shocker type shit. You feel me? You got the silk shirts. So you kind of reinvented yourself. The Mike P battle brought you back to life, nigga. That Mike P battle brought you back to life. Other than that, you were not doing nothing in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? You was on Battle Rap Trap Channel being a, a, a background singer to this nigga. You feel me? So that, that, Mike, that Mike P battle brought you back, nigga. And with this, it actually being in that tournament got you, JC. So you better not go in there playing because JC is not going to play with you, bro. JC is not going to play with you. He's coming off like the best prep we've ever seen, and he still kind of kept up with that. You feel me? Even the best Chiller Jones we ever seen in that small room, JC kept up with that, bro. JC makes classics. JC kind of has the most classics in battle rap, bro. I'm just going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? I can name him Iron. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, do the, go, to, go down the list. But anyway, if I had to choose, I got motherfucking JC winning this battle, bro. 2-1 Ryder. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 2-1 JC clear. Danger Zone versus O Red. O Red, please don't let your teeth fall out in the middle of this battle. You know what I'm saying? That's the I don't I don't want to hear the that's the show that's the showcases. I don't want to hear that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like so, and Danger Zone. Let me talk to you, bro. I'm gonna get back to you, O Red. Hold up, Danger Zone. Let me talk to you, bro. Chaos smoked you. Chaos smoked you, bro. I'm just gonna keep it real. K Kid Chaos smoked you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? How how you gonna sit here and say? Oh, man, niggas won't react to my shit. Nigga, he smoked you, bro. He smoked you, nigga. That's it. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? But you have to show up. You had some fire shit that battle. I'm going to salute, you know what I'm saying, salute Danger Zone because this is your comeback, uh, you know what I'm saying, your comeback tour. You, know, you feel me? So I, I'm not going to say nothing bad, crazy about you because you had fire that battle. But, nigga, for you to sit here and beat old Red, nigga, you better come with the best three rounds Danger Zone ever motherfucking had. You feel me? You heard me, O Red. O Red. O Red. That nigga, he was killing you in the face off, bro. That nigga said Uber Eats. Like, and that, that shit must have been true that DNA 2 reported. That Uber Eats shit with O Red must have been true. This nigga started talking about seven streams of income and revenue and shit like that, which I feel you, bro. I'm not knocking you for being an Uber Eats delivery driver, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? Just, it, it is what it is. But I got O Red winning this battle, bro. 2 1 clear, O Red. Might be a 3-0. Jada Nightwing versus Tink the Demon. I got this battle being one of the lackluster battles of the night, which because you don't know what you're gonna get from Tink and Jada Nightwing, he's gonna come out there with the that mad face, you know, it's, it's Jada Nightwing. You know what I'm saying? He just niggas like a uh a fucking uh superhero cartoon character from back in the day, but salute to him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I got motherfucking Jada Nightwing winning this battle 3-0, bro. Then you moving along. You got Jack Boy Main versus J400 Block. Jack Boy Main versus J400 Block. This is the battle with the niggas. Whoever can run their mouth the longest and, and whoever can talk the longest is going to win this battle because both of these niggas can talk for fucking ever and they can just keep fucking going. 
But I got Jack Boy Main winning this battle. J400 block this nigga can rap. You know what I'm saying? He should he waited too long to get in this setting. I feel like now the setting is kind of going away a little bit. He should have been in those tournaments because that kind of would have that that you see what it did for Holmesy the guy. He's in part of part of the loud boys. You know what I'm saying? Like Holmesy, you know what I'm saying? Like J400 block, you roll with shotgun sugar. That probably could have, you know what I'm saying? That probably could have boosted your stock being in that small room, but you know, you never know. I got Jack Boy winning this battle. Jack Boy, the, your last three battles have not dropped. What's going on, bro? What, what What's up? But I got Jack Boy main winning this battle. Next along, we move up to NXT versus Cuban. I have not heard of NXT. I have not seen his battles. I'm going to check his shit out. They saying he's fire. They saying he's up next. I guess he's come out of the Crucibles, but he's versus Cuban. Cuban, if you lose to this nigga, bro, pack your bags up. Go back to the Army and re-enlist because there, there might not be a place for you in battle rap. You just beat Young Cannon, and then you move to NXT, a nigga out of the Crucibles. It might be over for you, kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't, nigga. I didn't say that, nigga. That's on the teleprompter. I, you know, you feel me? I didn't say that shit, nigga. They did. You feel me? But I'm just saying, Cuban, you cannot lose this battle, bro. You lose this battle, nigga's not gonna want to hear nothing. You gotta say no more. You cannot steal DNA's champ hoodie no more and wear that to the battle. You cannot go borrow your sergeant's bulletproof vest. And wear that to the battle no more. Niggas don't want to see that shit, bro. I'm just telling you. You have to win this battle. Nigga, you have to. You better win this battle. Because if not, I don't want to see another Cuban battle, period, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all your latest news, updates, content, and more of battle rap. This right here, Born Legacy 11, man. Fire car. You know what I'm saying? It's going down in Orlando. This shit dropping on the app. If you ain't got the app, go get that shit, nigga. App gang over here, man. I don't do the bootleg, nigga. You doing a bootleg off a of seven fucking ninety nine dollar app, nigga? You ought to be ashamed of your motherfucking self, nigga. The app is only eight dollars, nigga. You ain't got eight dollars to support the channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's so sad if you don't. Y'all niggas get. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here with that trash, man. But anyway, man, it's the homie hood legend. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, man. We about to run it up. We close to a thousand subs, man. Let's run this up. I'm like I'm like 120 away or whatever the case may be. Go look on the channel. You'll see what it is, man. But anyway, hit that subscribe button, man. We out of here. Born Legacy 11. Hood Legend Prediction Blog. We out, bro.